Hello everyone, welcome to ITTK. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage local user group membership via Microsoft Intune. In Intune, if a subset of user needs to have local administrator rights, there are several ways to grant these users local administrator rights. For example, via a separate autopilot profile where you specify that users need to have local administrators or via the additional local administrator on all of Azure AD joint devices option in the Azure AD device setting. Although in that case, they will become local administrator on all Azure AD joint devices which is not recommended because they only need to be a local administrator on the specific device which they use. A good alternative is to give the user the local administrator rights via the local user group membership policy by making the user the member of local administrator group via Microsoft in June. Local user group membership policy help admin helps in tune admin to add remove or replace the members of local administrator group on windows devices it is just like the restricted group membership which we have seen in the group policy we can manage local groups with on-premise domain user group and azure ready users group sids in the policy, we specify that which user or group needs to have local admin rights. Next, we will assign this policy to a group of devices where the policy should be applied on. Let's learn how to create a local user group membership policy to manage local admins of Windows 10 or Windows 11 devices. This local user group membership policy is supported for hybrid Azure AD join or Azure AD join devices. So let's go ahead and sign in to Microsoft Intune by using this URL intune.microsoft.com. You must have a global administrator or Intune service administrator to perform these steps. First, uh, let's go ahead uh, and create the group to which we will apply our these settings of local administrator. Let's go to new group. Let's create local admin group. I can add the same description and let's hit create. Group is successfully created. Please note that the group we have created here, we have to add the devices as a member of this group so that later on we could apply local administrator policy to this group so for your understanding i have created this group and please note this will be a devices group and you could add devices here by going to add members and go to devices and you can add devices select and add devices from here right so let's for your understanding i am adding this device here into the group local admin okay before proceeding to setting up local admin let me explain you what will happen you might know about this but let me explain you so that the one who don't know about this setting or local administrator they will also get understand from my explanation so right click on the start menu and go to computer management in the computer management we have here local users and group go to groups and here let's find the administrator group in the administrator group you can see i have two members here right and these are local administrator on my this laptop administrators have complete and unrestricted access to the computer or domain right these administrator have complete access on my this computer so once we join a user computer to Microsoft in June, they will not be added as a local administrator into this group. So what we will do and we will push our local administrator from Microsoft 
in tune as a local administrator for the device right basically we are pushing local administrator from the cloud to a device right so let's cancel this i hope you understand this let's go back to intune admin portal now let's go ahead and create a user that we want to be local administrator on the device right i'm going to create a new user here i want to name it test local admin test let me name it okay i have created the user and we will add this user as a local admin on their specific device this test user will be pushed as a local administrator on the device here with unrestricted access let's go back to intune and click on endpoint security in endpoint security uh, find here account protection here you go in the account protection let's go ahead and create new policy in the policy let's create let's select uh, windows and in the profile plat here the platform will be windows that will include windows 10 and later and in profile type we are going to select local user group membership let's select this and create okay uh, assign the meaningful name and description here right i have assigned the name to local user group membership and description is assign local admin rights to selected member let's click next in the configuration settings click on add and in add section here we have few options six options six local groups are supported with the local user group membership policy we need to select any of these local user group to remove or add members as you can see administrator group is already selected here there are three options to create a local user group add update remove update and add replace add update is used to add the users or group to the local group remove update is used to remove users or group from a local group of the device and add replace option is used to remove all assigned users and group from local administrator group and assign the users or group which we will push from our intune admin portal like we have created a test user few minutes ago when using add replace option for configuring the built in administrator group it is always required to add the administrator as a member this is because the built in administrator must always be a member of administrators group otherwise the policy will not work here let's select the add update option where we want our test user to be an additional local administrator of the device right but if you want to push only your cloud user as a local administrator on the device you can select add replace or if you want to remove and update administrator you can use this option so in some cases the organizations use add replace option because they want to remove local administrator from the device or they want to hide or disable local administrator from the device and want to push the local administrator from in tune with a complex password so that they can manage devices with that local administrator so let's use add update option to add our in tune user as a local administrator so i am selecting add update here this option will be selected by default right this is the first option next comes selecting the method to identify the members which we want to add to or remove from the specified group there are two options to do this 
users slash group option is only supported for Azure AD joint devices. The manual option is supported for both Azure AD joint devices or hybrid joint devices. If you are using add replace action, then you need to add the SIDs using manual option because we cannot select Azure AD roles within this policy. I am not going to cover a manual option today in this tutorial. To add users or group to Windows 10 or Windows 11 local admin, we have to use here users group option under user selection type and that will be selected by default. Now click on select users slash group option under the selected user option. Let's select that. Let's select the test user which we have created as a local admin for the device and once that user is selected click next. I am going to use the default scope tag here so I am going to click next. So now in the groups assignment uh, we could search by name here if you remember we have created uh, a group right local admin group for the devices we have added a device in local admin group so we have selected this group here right if you remember we have created this group and we have added one device here to push a test local admin so i have selected this group let's click next now you could review your settings right by going to these drop downs and you can click on the save button create this managing a local administrator users or group policy so i am okay with all of this setting and i am going to click save this policy and this policy should come up in the list yeah we can see the policy appear in account protection list. So once your policy will get synced or propagated with the devices that are targeted uh, in the local admin group I have created. And once this is synced properly with the device or the devices get checked in with Microsoft in Tune, you will see that the test local administrator will be the member of administrators group in the computer management the test user we have created that will be additional local administrator under these two administrators and if you want to replace these two administrators and you want to push a local administrator from in tune only that will also be a perfect case because most of the company are worried about local administrator and they want to hide or disable local administrator on the devices and they want to push their local administrator from the cloud so for that you could use add or replace option in microsoft intune and once you have pushed local administrator from the cloud from the intune by add and replace option all these administrator will be replaced by a single local administrator that will be pushed from microsoft intune in this video we have used add update option that will add our test user as an additional local administrator on the targeted device this option will not replace any of local administrators that are currently administrator on the device. So these are very perfect options to manage your device security and local administrator at once. You have pushed this option, this account from Intune as a local administrator. You can also hide computer management or you can also restrict access to computer management as i have created in my own video so that user will not be able to change any setting in the computer management that's all for this video on how to manage local user group membership with microsoft in tune using microsoft endpoint manager
admin center web interface please note that my purpose of all of the video is just to explain you better and just try to tell you in a brief way so that you can understand and deploy settings according to your requirement thanks for watching keep watching and don't forget to subscribe take care bye